coming today from elected officials across the county. Fox 17's Julie Dunmire talked to a state representative who's leading the call to action on that. Julie. Yeah, guys, this all comes after an alleged drinking and driving incident back on May 11th, where St. Joseph prosecutor John McDonough was arrested. But elected leaders tell me that's only the latest of the problems. He doesn't show up to work. One of the many issues state representative for St. Joseph County, Aaron Miller, has with John McDonough's position as county prosecutor, detailed in this letter. Those who are on that letter and many, many others who aren't have waited to let the dust settle, so to speak, and have waited for any kind of response or resolution. And there really hasn't been anything on that front. In the letter, Miller, other elected officials and residents are asking the county commissioners to join them in helping get Prosecutor McDonough out of office. It's time to call for the resignation, uh, not just because of the May 11th incident, but because of the large history before that. The May 11th incident in question, Miller says, is the final straw when the St. Joseph prosecutor was arrested for drinking and driving. But according to the 26 people behind the letter, McDonough's failures extend to his professional behavior. They claim he fails to train assistant prosecutors, fires them without warning, and is not available for local police departments when they need guidance on legal issues. There ought to be a high bar for somebody putting their name on a, on a ballot and signing up for an office, especially as important as a uh, prosecutor in this county. When contacted by Fox 17 News, the prosecutor's office says they have no comment. I would have thought that uh, by now we would have seen some response from John, but we have not seen any response at this point. And so I think that's why uh, that's why the the readiness, the uh, willingness to call for that at this point. And the letter will be presented to the county commissioners at tomorrow night's meeting. That's at 5 o'clock on Zoom. Live in the newsroom, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.